Ow. So today, I had him in mind to do like a three marker character design challenge. And I still probably will follow along those lines. Just a little less strict. Because following the rules is for losers. <laughs> I feel like doing dabbling a little bit. Like I kind of want to pick the color scheme. Maybe to make it a little bit more interesting, I'll only pick the colors based on their caps. These are my Copic sketches. And these are my Who brush markers. In my head, I'm seeing like a red to yellow gradient with like hints of blue. I guess I should to be ready to swatch. So I've got my sketchbook here, a cool erase pencil here. So these are like erasable colored pencils. I like to layer my alcohol base markers on top of them. Now, the colors. Maybe for the red, I'll go with a really deep red like garnet. I picked it. No going back now, let me swatch it. Okay, that was a good choice. Can't really go wrong with your first marker, right? Picking colors that go well with it, that's tricky. So I think I want like a mid-tone blue and then a light yellow, either between sky or baby blue for the blue. And then yellow, I might do one of these. We could do cadmium yellow, but that's a bit deep. Why did I make it so I can't swatch? This is dumb. Okay, I think I'll do pale yellow just because I do want one of these colors to be very light. So those are our two colors so far. And then I wanted a blue. I'm thinking baby blue. Ooh, let's see how these look. I wanted something a little darker than that, but we might be able to make it work. So basically those are some primary colors in different tones. And I want to design a character based on these three markers. And then if it is so necessary to start adding a few little extra hints of color here and there, we will do that. Let's get into it. Here's my three markers and let's see what happens. All right, so today with the character that I'm designing, I want to really focus on chunky shapes. I'm very inspired by these. You can kind of see how these shapes are simple. That's kind of the route I want to go with this. I'll probably allow myself to use like black and white if I so choose, but I think we're just gonna have to start drawing and I'll make my decisions from there, whether I like it or not. So I usually just draw a body first and it's probably gonna be a girl cause I'm making this character for a specific reason, which I'll let you know later. And I would like it to be a girl, or at least more on the feminine side. Now I drew it a little too big, so I might not be able to fit the feet. But I also kind of want this character to have really big sneakers of some kind. Arms doesn't really matter, do whatever. There we go, got a nice base shape with my pencil. Once I start figuring out a design, I'll be able to play a bit more with the proportions. I find if I think about the proportions at the beginning, it usually alters the design in a different way. And uh, this just comes more naturally to me. So with these colors, in my brain, I saw these two like kind of creating a gradient. I kind of want the red garnet color blending into this yellow. And then it becomes yellow as it gets lower. I kind of see how this middle color looks different than that one a little bit. I kind of pictured blue layering on the yellow a little to create like a gray, maybe around the outside. Kind of see where I was going with this color scheme. <laughs> an ice cream cone or a bloody toe. I don't, I don't know. I'll layer that over again with this color. That's not working quite as well as I pictured. Well, anyway. I'd like this character to be very winter themed since we're in the dead of winter here. And I want this character to be very warm yet fashionable. Whether that means accessories that keep her warm. You know what would be cute? Like a big puffy coat. It could probably have like a big shape because I do want to try and play around with contrasting sizes of shapes. Not just color. Maybe like that and then like a big zipper. And it needs to come down this way as well. So here's an idea. I like to draw the first blank character basically and kind of draw on top of it. Then as you slowly like form the idea of the actual design, you can start almost taking little shortcuts to draw the shapes instead of having to draw the skeleton underneath. You gotta start somewhere. Maybe have visible zipper grid, maybe a turtleneck but much smaller shapes. I don't know, that might be too much like high neck stuff. And I'm thinking like a beanie that kind of follows this shape. Do we want hair that kind of comes out from there? Oh, I'm getting Ash Ketchum vibes. <laughs> so basically you find the shapes that are really big and try to make the shapes around them just a little bit smaller because then they're going to in turn make those shapes look even larger. It's all about the beauty of contrast. Because the coat kind of comes down to here, I'm thinking skinny pants, but I could crop the jacket and then go with like kind of a tight to wide leg. And what if it's one of those cats with the double pom-poms? What about shorts with like 
tights layered underneath. It gives you the opportunity for more to play around with, I guess. <laughs> Those are such Pokemon shorts. Sorry, I got Pokemon on the brain now. You could put like holes in the tights, socks that go over the tights for added warmth, leg warmers, that sort of thing. Maybe some more rips. You can also give them mittens or gloves or something. I do want to jump into smaller thumbnails now so we can play around with those shapes and exaggerate them even more. So I wanted to do some kind of like boots. Let's try just the vest this time. So really big and poofy. And we'll keep the neck piece too. If we're gonna have that big poofy jacket, it might be fun to like exaggerate and make the arms extra skinny. And then maybe big gloves. Ready for snowball fights. <laughs> I'm gonna try the shorts again. Maybe make them a little longer. I think we still need the turtleneck. The tights. Oh, and we need some kind of hair. What are things people wear for warmth on their head? What about one of those like socks you wear in your head that has a hole for your eyes? I feel like it just needs a little ponytail sticking out, you know? We could follow the shapes of the shorts and kind of try to take other parts you have in the design, kind of make it more cohesive. I'm gonna like this. Oh, and then I want to put like a hole in the knee. Probably should just outline the arms so that I can color them in. Because I do really like the way that sketch turned out and I'm not ready to just throw color on it and ruin it, I'm gonna make a small version where I kind of practice the colors. See if it makes sense, you know? See, one that I don't care if I ruin. Little ponytail on top. <laughs> so we have the red, the blue, and the yellow. My mind is telling me the shorts should either be red or blue. I'm gonna go with blue first because that just seems like the natural way to go. We'll play around with it afterwards. Layer it up here more so that like the edges of the shorts look like they're fraying. Because I colored in that sleeve red, I'm thinking I'll do that again. Like just because the pencil was dark there. Essentially. We could do black tights, maybe, because I don't want to put the other colors here. Yellow boots and gloves and everything. Seems a little weird. I like the yellow vest, that's nice. But the yellow boots and gloves, not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna try and use this liner, distribute the black around a little bit more. I see how that affects the color scheme. Could do yellow for the hair, maybe? I think the color scheme is not benefiting the design in any way, which means we need to take another look at it. Kind of looks like the Martian from Bugs Bunny. Like, I feel like the yellow is too evenly distributed. And then there's like equal parts of red and blue. Usually I find if that's happening, what I need to do is seriously limit at least one of the colors. And I feel like the color I should be limiting is the yellow. So I'm gonna draw another little guy. I'm gonna put a little more time into this one because I kind of dig in the design. Maybe sit her down. See if I can use this design in a different pose. If you can't draw someone's outfit in a different pose, then you might want to rethink the outfit. I mean, something doesn't make sense somewhere. Or you might just need to practice because it's a new design and you're not used to it yet. So you don't necessarily know exactly how it's going to look in different angles. I'm going to pull that foot up this way. That's good enough to play around with the color, right? Now the thing is, when you start scrunching up the character, different colors are going to interact with each other that don't necessarily bump into each other in a standing up pose. So you may need shading and stuff to, to make it work, maybe? I'm thinking I'm just gonna let the yellow be the hair for now. Okay, you know what would be kind of cute is if the hair pokes out here, like a little bit of bangs. You know what I didn't do here? I didn't mix any of the colors. Like what if I layer the blue on top of the yellow for like the boots? And the gloves. Even this to like limit the yellow. It's a little gray. Not quite what I'm looking for. So maybe this time around, I want to try red as this whatever it's called. <laughs> Is this ski mask? That doesn't. Is that right? What if we match the ski mask to the gloves? That kind of makes sense to me. Again, I want them to be really big and poofy. Okay, that feels better than like the blue with the yellow gloves. We could do black for the vest underneath. I think that'll help because that's like so unimportant, I feel like, to the design. It's kind of just has to be there so she's not naked. So I think if we just make that black, no one will be the wiser. We could go with like a gray, maybe layered with one of the other colors for the tights. Ooh, that was a little darker than I kind of anticipated. 
And that kind of just allows like the three colors to kind of stand out a little bit more because they won't be competing as much. Maybe layer that with the blue just so it's darker than just plain blue would be. That kind of leaves blue for the vest, so let's throw that in there. See how that's looking. I don't know if it's because I mixed it with the gray first, but it's not quite as poppy as I feel like it could be. I feel like the vest could also benefit from having some kind of design on it, like stripes or that V shape you see on winter coats sometimes. I'm gonna draw the face in here. The pants could probably go with that weird green color when I mix the blue and the yellow. Let's see. Is that different enough from the vest? It could work, but I feel like there might be a better way to go about it. look like boxing gloves because they're red. I do like the contrast between like the black and then the light blue. I think it makes it stand out, but the shorts don't work. We could make them red. No, let's try it. Not awful. Now what about the boots? You'll have the line art first so I don't forget what it was supposed to look like. We could try the blue. I'm also going to erase more of the pink pencil. That's not bad. Basically what we did was we extremely limited the yellow, so now it's just the hair. Okay, I want to try one more thing before I color this one, okay? I want to make the shorts blue, the vest blue, boots red. No, that's too much blue next to each other. Oh no, let's just see what it looks like though. I'm gonna draw it over here. Big vest, little legs poking out, big boots. Try the shorts again. I'm kind of thinking we're gonna have to change the design because the shorts don't seem to be working. Big gloves. Again, I'm not putting too much detail into anything because what we're trying to do is really iron out the colors. And by doing the colors, we're ironing out the design at the same time because if the colors aren't gonna work, then I don't want to get too attached to a specific design. I'm wondering if we just need to like shorten the vest. Raise the waist up so it's not creating any kind of tangents. And the hair. I don't have any problem with the yellow hair. I feel like it works unless something makes me change my mind. Okay, so I want to try all outerwear as red. So that would be the ski mask thing, gloves, and the vest. We'll try the shorts and the shoes as blue. Why not? Then I'll try the black turtleneck, black sleeves. Do I want black tights? Okay, that looks better just like overall. I feel like the colors kind of work well together. We can probably use this gray to kind of just shade. Kind of miss drawing ears, but maybe that's just a sacrifice we're gonna have to make today. We could try layering the black with this red and it might just warm it up a little. Something still... Mm, what is it? It feels like there's equal parts of red and blue and black. So it's like three colors competing with each other. Let's make the shorts red again. And you're like, oh, wow, that's a lot of red. But then I'm going to take the gray and go over that. And then you can do just a little blue behind her. Incorporate that color more. Kind of like a winter sky with snow back there. I think the red and black is definitely leaning too much Deadpool. Since we have so much red in one place, we could try adding some kind of design to the vest or the gloves or something, and then that will pull away from it. So like if we have the blue vest maybe, and then you add like the red V shape in the front. I like that. We can leave the blue there to kind of separate it from the mask. And what about the boots? Do I want to add like maybe a red to the bottom? Might add like some red socks. One problem I am still having with this, even though it seems like it's starting to work, is that we're not including any of that gradient that I really wanted. If I grab like another marker, would that help with this? I still really, really love the way this one turned out. I gotta like harness that energy for the next sketch. You can also try white for the vest. You can add the red here. While that's drying, I'm gonna try and harness whatever energy created that sketch. I draw it sitting again, why not? It's like the bag of flour of a torso, and then we want really long legs, maybe. You can see like the bottom of the foot. 
push the torso forward a little more. Put the head on the elbows. Sitting on a pile of snow. Maybe just have hair sticking out the front instead of the back. We have a big collar and then the big poofs. Oh, and then the big gloves. <laughs> Something about this is so fun. I really love the design. Just drawing blobs for hands is really fun. And now I understand Walt Disney a little more. I feel like we're connecting on a new level. <laughs> you ever sat in wet snow? <laughs> your butt's never the same. Well, till you change your pants. <laughs> Let's add some color to this. Oh wait, this might be dry. Put blue on there. Not quite as contrasty as that one was, but it's probably because of the way gel pen, so. I might do line art first. All right, now we're back. All right, and then blue boots. Blue vest. Yellow hair. We could try here. I'm gonna try my darkish gray. I'm gonna layer it with the red. Red on black. And then we also wanted, uh, well, you're not actually gonna see that. That would be in the front. You could maybe do it along the back. And did we go with red shorts? Really? Jeez. Maybe this is too much red. And then red on the bottom of the boots. Definitely need something on the legs. Or it's going to be quite chilly. Try the dark gray, I guess. Keep doing the same thing over and over again. I'm not sure I'm tweaking it enough to really find improvements. I'm liking this. I think adding that small amount of blue to the vest makes a huge difference. So little yellow though. We could do like yellow socks or something over the tights. Like I feel like I just need to add like the tiniest little bit of yellow somewhere. We also need to find like a skin tone. I mean, we could just make a very light red color since that's something in the design already. Build like layer of yellow on this. Okay, again, I want to get these proportions. What if we give it like a very short torso with really long legs? Then the boots would be like this. Potential socks, little uh, knee holes, shorts, come up real high, turtleneck, ski mask hair, eyeball, eyeball. There's no room for ears really in this design, but maybe we can stick them in. The vest, oh, that comes up too high. Marshmallow, marshmallow, needs to end around here. Divide this by three. Shrink this down a little. Drawing these ovals kind of helps find those shapes. Big squishy gloves. I'm gonna redraw the face, I don't like it. Now we can draw the eyes. Make those arms even skinnier. More contrast there. Still doesn't have the same pizzazz that that does. I think the legs are skinnier there. Straight lines. That actually made a big difference. Should we try adding in some color? You also will not be able to see these face. Try this out. Should I try to leave space for some yellow maybe? Between... I really like that just the way it is with no red underneath. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna still do red for the gloves. Ski mask. And I guess the shorts. Now essentially what's happened is we've just included white as an extra color. Probably could have done white socks down there too. Could probably even go for white tights. But for now, let's do the dark gray shirt with red overlapping it just to bring it more into the color scheme. One more time with the gray. Deepen that color. By having the black though, I feel like the white feels out of place. We could try a lighter gray. I don't know if that's also gonna have the same problem. Light red. I'm gonna add line art and then I'll make another assessment. I do like the vest design. I'm not sure if it fits into the character design though. Just because you find something good doesn't mean it's the right good for the project, you know? Is Pikmin a thing? Is that what this looks like? <laughs> Don't laugh at me. <laughs> I didn't have Nintendo growing up. Give 
a little blush, maybe an eyebrow in there. Forgot this part. It feels like there's two different things going on. Like there's the character that's underneath here and then there's the boots and the vest. Like they don't blend well together. I'm thinking kind of follow that same design originally, but leaving space for a little bit of yellow and then blue on the bottom. It makes me feel like this should be blue with gray on top. A cool gray. Something still just feels choppy about it. And I'm not complaining, I'm just trying to figure it out in my head. I will ponder it while I draw another version. Maybe with a longer torso this time. Poofy vest. Kind of exaggerate the shapes a little bit more this time. Maybe put a hand in a pocket. That would kind of explain the vest kind of going upwards. could put ski goggles on the head. So if this is the forehead, it'd be like... I do like that. It kind of loses the little wisp of hair though. I don't think I can have both. We could go back to the ponytail. Need like the holes and the tights and all that. And then the boot. I think I want them to be a little thicker. Ooh, I kind of like this shoe right here. See this one, I'm trying to add a little bit more detail. Now if by adding detail, some things feel unnatural, I'm gonna cut those out. I haven't felt anything pulling. It's still just the colors don't feel right. I wonder, what if I bring one of these socks over the knee and the other one can be more crumpled down here? Does this foot make as much sense as I feel like I want it to? <laughs> Maybe if I pull this heel more this way. I really like this sketch. Okay, I think I'm getting somewhere following these proportions a little bit more. Just trying to fix this shoe. One second. Okay, I really like the sketch. I like it, I like it, I like it. Should I use yellow or blue for like the goggles? I'm a little worried because I added in these socks if that's gonna make it just too much yellow. I really don't want to ruin the sketch. Ah! That glove does not fit in that pocket. Is there room to like try this again somewhere? I'm a little, a little concerned, so we'll just draw a little tiny version. Oh, and we added the goggles with the ponytail. I have one long sock, crumpled sock. We wanted the red vest. Ski mask. Red shorts. Red on the bottom of the boots. Gloves. And right at the top of this vest. Blue there. Blue center here. And there's a space for the yellow. I suppose we could just leave a little space of white there. Honestly though, no blacks looking kind of nice. Like it's just bringing the design to be a lot brighter. It makes the yellow feel like it fits a little better. We could use a little gray if we need. It does give me more winter vibes, even though I feel like black's a very common color to wear in the winter. But I think if I want to have these yellow socks, I think it's kind of necessary to include the white instead. Light red for the skin again. Right? I think I actually really like this. Something about it doesn't necessarily mean it's better. It's just more what I want. I feel like it solves the like Martian problem and the Deadpool problem without having the black. I might grab that lightest gray. Maybe do it on the tights. You know what I didn't do? Let's try to do this gradient. I'll go yellow on top of this. That's kind of what I wanted to do when I first sat down, was create a gradient from yellow to red. We could throw that in the little socks. That way it gets used. And it brings a little bit more red into the design. And we can layer the gray over with the skin tone. Okay, so now the shirt's white. That's the, like the biggest difference. I think I like it enough to be able to do it on this. Again, you're going to see this character pop up again. And we might do a little tweaks there, but I think I am happy with adding that to this. So I want to add in the line art to this. Seems like a kind of a shame to color it though, because there's so much color throughout the rest. And I like the way the sketch looks. You know what? I grab my iPad. Put it behind here. Hopefully the paper's not too thick. Try and do the line art. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna try to just look at it and kind of find where it's missing something. Maybe some seams. Let's try adding the colors. Now the colors might look a little different because this is a different type of paper. Start with the blue. Color in this underneath side of the vest. 
the boots. So far I like it. I like it with just the blue and white. Maybe we should call it the quits. Basically I'm gonna color the whole leg in this light red color. Pink, I guess you should just call it. That way when I go over it with the tight color, it'll see through it and you'll see the skin tone. I can do hair, which is yellow. And we'll gradient it down to red later. Red, bottom of the boots. So red is my predominant color since it goes just about everywhere. And then blue and yellow are much more subsidiary and will hopefully give us a nice result at the end. And the shorts. Red on the vest, right here to the armpit. This white space is actually supposed to be blue? Or is there a white space underneath it and then blue? We'll do both and we'll see. Reminds me of a rocket ice cream. So we've got the two white stripes and then a white on the back. It has a little bit more white, although the sleeves are gonna be white. Maybe we should just call it the back blue. Then we can use gray for shading. Add in the tights. So if this is too light, it might just make her look cold. I want to add the gradient to the socks because I think it's just too much yellow. Hopefully we can get this to blend out. We'll do this spot first. It's always that harsh line. What am I doing wrong? What if I lay it with orange first, then put on the red and then blend that out? I want to do that back here too. Do I have a lighter red I could try it with? an orange. I just use this prawn color. Mixes it in. Then to the yellow. I think the tights need to be darker. We could try going over it with blue and then maybe the gray again. Might add a little snowflake here. It's like a crest. The problem is the red at the bottom doesn't look like that red. I wonder if I can blend that out even more. Ooh, that makes a big difference actually. I just needed a darker color to blend it out with. That adds just a little bit more red instead of that orange. A little snow blob slayer blue again. It looks a little patchy. We'll do a little shading on the red areas. Should I add some kind of stripe to the boots? Kind of like so it matches the vest. A little bit of white. Let me assess the design so far. I feel like the gradient doesn't look like anything else in the picture, unless we add more of a gradient to the hair or something. I plan on visiting this character design again in the future. Please leave your name ideas so that I don't just keep calling it the character. I'll pick one of the names and I will think myself to see if I can find some that I like. I don't know, something wintry, something cool. <laughs> Help me. I still think this is one of my favorite sketches. I like that one too. Although I did a pretty good job with the color. I'm very happy to still be able to see those construction lines and stuff. I am happy to move on to the next stage of this. You'll just have to wait for that. But thank you for coming this far with me. I'm excited to show you where we go with it. But for now, we will have to leave it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week. And I hope you all have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye!